complain about. Listen to our prayers. Look at the things we prioritize. Look at what we have made the gospel. Look at the songs that we sing. Look at the things we're always begging God for. I mean, just really just look at us. I, I just gotta wonder after listening later how pathetic we must look to the Lord sometimes with some of our prayers and some of our antics and some of our shenanigans and our foolishness and all of the self-help we keep preaching mm. across these platforms. Self-help and we turn every sermon about our benefit, our gain, us, 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 us. And you can't preach that in Uganda. Look at all the stuff we preach in this country that masquerades as the gospel. Right. That you mm-hmm. cannot preach in Uganda. And if we can't preach it in Uganda, Ryan, then is it really the gospel? You see, and what we do is we take we take the gospel of Christ and the teaching of the apostles, we Americanize it to make it prosperity driven. This is why I gotta be careful my own teaching. Because some of the stuff you share over here, you cannot share that in Rwanda or Uganda. So mm. if my gospel is trapped to my nation, is it really the gospel? Wow. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Amen. Are we preaching a false gospel that's based on prosperity, success? Uh, it's all about you. Mm-hmm. What do you guys think? Yeah, yeah. For them, <laughs> and, and, and the majority, not every single person, but I think the vast majority is like we were just talking about the young lady who said she gave up acting and then she got that role. Like very few people see Christ alone as a prize, because following Christ comes with sacrifice. Mm-hmm. It comes with denying yourself. It comes with being able to understand no. Um, people say sometimes God no, just he's delayed. Nah, sometimes God just say no. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and are you okay with that? And a lot of people are not are not cool with no. That's mm-hmm. why many people don't fast because they don't know how to tell themselves no. You can't turn out a cheeseburger. You're finna turn down fornication. Yeah. That, you know what I'm saying? So that's real. People don't, don't want to. Yeah, people don't want to re- return things down. So it's like like he said. That's one of the things my pastor trained us with. He told us early on. He was like, the gospel the truth is universal. Mm-hmm. It can't be truth over here and not be truth over here. If it's truth, it's going to be truth centric. Any way you put it, it's going to yeah. be true. And a lot of the things that people do to get people to come into their churches are make these promises mm-hmm. so people can come in and say, well, if I give my tithes and offering, God going to, like, you're trying to, you're trying to uh, finesse God. You're trying to trade and barter with God. Like, yeah. he gave you life. He gave you salvation. He gave you a chance to be in relationship with him when you deserve hell. He don't got to give you nothing else. He didn't he, he need have to give you that. Mm-hmm. That's by his grace and his mercy. So for you to come to God because you think you're going to get something else, you pimping. You know well, what I'm saying? I think this, too. Um, I think the reason why it's so, it's so prosperous is because people ain't reading the Bible. At yeah. all. I think once you start reading the Bible, you start to see the disconnect between using a scripture out of context or mm-hmm. like how the scripture is supposed to be read and what the scripture is really about when you when it's really about Jesus. Majority, not majority, the whole Bible is about yeah. Jesus. Old Testament, New mm-hmm. Testament, it's about Jesus. Like when you read it, you'll be like, man, this goes right back to Jesus. Mm-hmm. Like It's not about me. It's not about anybody. It's literally about Jesus. And I think at the same time, man, I think that's the problem. I think he, he said in another message I saw him talk, he said, there's too many people um, in churches, they, they're not reading the scriptures. They basically going home and listening to messages, mm-hmm. find your favorite scripture that stroke your ego, yeah. mm-hmm. and that's it. And you know what I mean? It's, it's, and, and, it's, and it's like, it's almost like manifestation of law of attraction. You're mm-hmm. using scriptures to do that. You can't follow Christ without sacrificing. Yeah. His whole life was a sacrifice. It was a sacrifice for him to leave heaven and come to earth. Yeah. It was a sacrifice for him to lay his life down. Mm-hmm. Like his whole life was about sacrifice. I didn't come to be served. I came to serve. Like, so it just blind. It just blows my mind how we can come to church and think about what we're going to get from it mm-hmm. while we're trying to follow in Christ. Follow Christ who gave, but who who left heaven. Like mm-hmm. it don't get better yeah. than that. That's what we're trying to go. Right. He yeah. left there for our sake, but we want to see what can we get out of the deal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. That part because the gospel essentially is the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. The the need for Christ that we have, like we were born in sin. And God didn't want us to be because sin separates us from God. But he loved us. So it's a love story. He loved us so much that he sent Jesus, which is really himself, to come and die for us so that he can take the keys from hell so that we will have eternal life with him. That's the gospel that can be preached everywhere. But like like you said, when you get into the the whole like God is a magician, um, like I'm only coming to him for what if he doesn't heal you? Yeah. Mm hmm. You, you still have eternal life with him, though. Mm. Yep. My mother battled breast cancer for 11 years. You don't think we prayed to God, petitioned to God for healing mm. and, and for deliverance and things of that nature, and it wasn't God's will. But mm. before she passed, she said, one way or another, I'm going to be healed, whether it's in this life mm. or the next. Amen. Mm. Glory to your name. You got to have that eternal perspective. And it, does it always go along with what you want? No. 
Does it always feel good? No, but is being with Christ the best thing that can ever happen to you? Yes. And God is so merciful and so gracious in the midst of that pain, in the midst of that adversity. He's going to teach you things. He's going to show you things. He's going to nurture you. He's going to he's going to he's going to help you understand. Mm -hmm. He's going to bring you in right stand. He's going to help you understand what's going on. If you're lost and your emotions are all over the place. Because I don't want to sound insensitive. Like, mm -hmm. this stuff is tough. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every, everybody here on this panel. <laughs> everybody here on this panel have had it's unanswered tough. prayer. Yeah. yeah. You right. know what I'm saying? But everybody on this panel still serves God because mm -hmm. we understand that he's knowledgeable. His ways are not our ways. Mm -hmm. His thoughts are not our thoughts. And he's wiser than us. And we've submitted yeah. our life to him because without him, we know we'd be truly yeah. lost. Yeah. So we don't want to make it seem like it's the easiest thing at all times. Sometimes yeah. it's tough. Mm -hmm. But it's the best thing for you. Like, yeah. tell yourself No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying Like be able to tell yourself No Like be able to sacrifice Something for the You're not sacrificing nothing You're not walking with God For real mm -hmm. You're gonna sacrifice something Everybody here has sacrificed something Like you're not sacrificing yeah. You're not following Christ That Die Daily <laughs> yeah, Die So if you notice Um we're trying our best to not only because because it could get into the habit where it's really easy to find fault in things, right? So we'll find a clip yeah. where it's like, "Can you believe what so and so said? Yeah. Can you believe what so and so said? I can't believe so and so said this out loud." I've been using that title a lot because it works for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we do also want to highlight when people say things that are godly, that are are moving towards yeah, you yeah. know mm -hmm. right teaching. So hopefully we'll you'll start seeing a mix of that more. Where if you got if you guys have clips that you want us to react to. Uh, send it to us, man. You can email me, Sean, S E A N, at trackstars with a Z dot com. Sean at trackstars dot com. Send it to our team. I'm sure Jerry Jerry collects all the clips. Um, we have a group chat where we send clips to each other all throughout the week. Jerry c collects them in a document we have, and then we go through them on Wednesday night. We go through each video submission and we say, is this is this going to be fruitful for our show? Is this going to be um, instructive? Is this going to be in line with the, what our audience needs from us? And we go through them and we say mm, maybe, mm, mm, and then we and yeah. we evaluate it. So if you want to submit <laughs> clips, the best way honestly is to get on Patreon, uh, follow us there, and whether you're a free member or a paid member, send us clips on there, and we'll we'll start looking uh, to get clips from you there. But. I'm starting to get clips sent to me by all kinds of Trayvon sent me a clip. Oh. <laughs> uh, some cats from my church sent me clips. So um, send us stuff because if there's if you're seeing stuff out in culture that needs to be addressed, whether positive or negative, we need your help. So send us send that yeah. stuff 